Hey, Dad. Hello. So? Uh, well, we called the the landlord, and uh, we might get an electrician in tomorrow. So. Oh, did uh, they not work, or did they pop again? They didn't even pop. One was blown, but it was a uh, it was for a heater. But the whatever, it's fine. Yeah. We'll just get an electrician in tomorrow. I'll just sleep in my bed in the dark, and it'll be cold or whatever. <laughs> I feel for you. Oh, thanks, Dad. And then the landlord said, dot, 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 it happens. Yeah. I was like, why are you being, like, so mysterious? Well, no, stuff happens. Like, you know, it's an old house, and yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, a wire could have broke off. Yeah, I guess. You know, know, maybe it broke off in the panel. You know, maybe it's aluminum wiring tile. I don't know. Maybe it's aluminum wiring, and it just... That was it. It just yeah. and done, you know. Dad, it's weird that two went, though. That's kind of weird. weird but, really weird. But yeah. can I just say, Dad, I uh, we are in the middle of recording a pod. Oh, So okay. if there's anything you want to say to the listeners. <laughs> no, no, you're doing a fine job, Kylie. I won't bug you anymore. All right. I love you. All right. Love you. Bye. Bye. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a bad episode. I love that. That was a great way to start. Weird vibe. Weird vibe. <laughs> well, That's, now the, uh, now the audience callers. knows. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your dad sells he's from Fargo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, he's very sweet. <laughs> like a data, a data Carvey character. Data Carvey character. <laughs> That's my dad, right? That's my dad. And he listens, so oh, don't. Hey. Oh, hey. Go to figure. Yeah, it's Dana Carvey doing an impression no. of a Canadian guy. <laughs> well, he's also, he's trying to be nice to me because he knows maybe I'm down in the dumps. So he's yes. pretty, he's pretty <laughs> pissed off about it. Yes, know? yes. So that's my dad trying to be nice. <laughs> we love you, buddy. Turn the volume down just a little bit on uh, all of us. Just a little. Peaking. Just a little bit on all of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. What a yeah, somber call. He's so calming. He really, your dad does have a really calm I love presence. it. Now, oh, he's an amazing person. Hi. He wasn't like that. He, he was, wasn't sexual. Hi. hi. <laughs> oh, Kyle, you're doing great. Oh, you know, it happens. It happens. Well, yeah, you didn't think it was weird that your, your uh, landlord said that at all? No. Well, you know, it happens. Well, I have to get the, yeah, there's something wrong with me. That I would be there like, is. that's it's the, weird. It's the dot, dot, dot. Yeah, yeah well, it's, the it's ellipses. The dot, dot, dot. My dad does that. My dad does dot, dot, dot a lot. Yeah. yeah. And it's, uh, I don't, I think it's a generation thing. We, oh, well, Ben Stagger's here. We should uh, introduce the guest. Second Tyrus Club. Yes. yes. Give you your little jacket. We made it. Yes. The blue jacket. Woo! Welcome, Ben. Yes, welcome. And Thanks sorry about well, sorry about all the circumstances that surround us. No, yeah, we've like, been here for three hours. Yeah, it's okay. No, what I was I was thinking with all this was going off off camera, uh, relationship between you guys. You have kind of arrived me. Howard Stewart already leg. <laughs> really? Howard Stewart already leg. I'm already leg. Late, late, you know, showered. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I set so up the whole to, studio, yeah. right? Well, you said then I set it up again, David and I. Well, well I was on the phone with... Uh, and did you like how I was setting things up? And I was like, can I just see the shot? And yeah. I was like, kind of doing yeah. that. Because I knew Kyle was stressed. So I'm like, let's get the shot ready. You guys ready. work well together. The, yeah. All things considered. There's Whoa. always issues. I yeah. think the three of us, we're, we're a dream team now. Dream team. I really David, think really. so. David pulled his weight. He set everything up here. Yep. Yeah, we really worked a, uh, under pressure because and you were having a temper tantrum. I was well, a lot about I this, don't hey, Dave? The, <laughs> or Desire Jr.? <laughs> David, please. Talk to us. I, I'm composed, though. I'm not having a temper tantrum. No. I'm composed. No. I'm especially when I get quiet and yeah. I say I'm tired. That's how you know I'm upset. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tired. I think I'm I tired. do that too. I do that too. I do that as well. But I got to be honest, talking to my two guys, talking to my dog behind the camera. It makes you. I'm starting to get happier. I'm starting to feel better. Who cares that there's no electricity in the house? I don't give a fuck. Well, your main floor has electricity. And your fridge has electricity. Oh, great. Big fat Artie Lang Kyle gets to eat all the food in the fridge. (laughs) Nice and cold for big fat Artie Lang Kyle. (laughs) You are like Artie. (laughs) <laughs> in what way? Hoodie D- doesn't dress well, up. Well, I got my hoodie on. <laughs> yeah, big nost, one big nostril from snorting glass. <laughs> you got stories. How yeah, you guys doing? You have stories about being drunk. Oh yeah, like party days. Like one time I was in Tijuana. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, 
<laughs> you might you might take the mic a little further from your face. Like hold really? It yeah, just hold it. Like Am here. I so hot? Yeah, a little bit. Really? Yeah. Fuck you, just Sam. Just hold, hold it like here. No. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for doing it. I'm actually feeling better. I feel better now. Good. I'm happy. It are. takes me five seconds, but I have to whoo, get it out of my system. Woo! Welcome. Yeah, this has been and a- Ben, you are a freaking god, man. You, you fucking got, had a release recently, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking cool, bro. Yeah. Tell me about that. What was your process for that? I submitted it on uh, DistroKid and oh, sh- all the streaming services. <laughs> Woohoo! Now, I don't get that, man, but uh, I'm just wondering for DistroKid and shit like that. Like, how? But how do you write it? Oh, how do I, I don't <laughs> log process, right? Yeah. <laughs> do you come up with the instrumental first and then you, you go know what? That? It's kind of played around the studio. Very cool. You can know, I, can I ask you if, uh, favorite chords go? I love a G. I love a, I love a G to a C mm. to E minor. Honestly, yeah, use classic. that quite often. Classic. E minor. That reminds me of my my. Uh, oh, I gotta play Minecraft again. <laughs> oh my god! I'm back and I'm feeling good. I don't yeah, care that I don't have power. I don't care they cut off the water. Up. I do not give a fuck. You're straining. You're yeah. straining right now. I have a brain bleed, <laughs> <laughs> but I feel good. It's good to be here. And you had um, a good week. How was your week? Well, quite. I've never had a good day, <laughs> <laughs> and that's totally fine by me. And I'm Stop happy it. with it. I've accepted it. <laughs> Stop you had it. a couple good days. Okay, yeah. Well, you know, I have great days with Ben every day. Yeah, there but you go. We both. Yeah, I don't know. Are we allowed I to see reveal some similarities? Much? Similarities between us sometimes. Uh-huh. Really? That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. No, I feel like sometimes you know we're in similar moods. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We both care about similar things. Yep. You both get quiet. Yep. Yeah. Get quiet, but like in There's a way wrong where with that. where we're like together. You know. Yeah. 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 We feel the same. There's nothing wrong with being quiet. No. Speaking of quiet, Decider Junior. Guys. Hey. Buddy. Please. What's, up? What's your thought processes during this whole the emo beginning we've had? Yeah, Kyle's draining me. <laughs> I felt fine at the beginning. Now your your energy has reached me. Yeah, I don't want him <laughs> drinking. I don't want you drinking. <laughs> Don't yeah. do cut that. that, obviously. <laughs> cut that. Cut that Keep out. What is going to be left in this episode? Because no, the first thing he said is when when <laughs> shit went shit went down was I need I need a couple drinks. Yeah. I was like, is this, is this, your whole life's ahead of you. <laughs> yeah. My, my whole, actually <laughs> yeah. Being, yeah. very you, good. I tell you, he's but actually David. Nervous. My my whole life is ahead of me. Well, I can't see that because it's fucking dark, right? Because all my le- electricity's out. I yeah. you know I kind of like it when the electricity goes out of my place. I'm not even trying to piss you off. I actually <laughs> like it. I do. It's kind of fun. As long as the fridge is is going, I'm like, ooh, you set up candles. You know what though? Flashlights. I get where Kyle's coming from. Yeah. Because it is so annoying when something goes wrong. You're trying to do whatever you can to fix it, but you just can't fix it. It happened to me a couple of weeks ago when I was trying to fix some CD mm. tape players. I was oh. going insane. And I, was wa- I was really thinking I was close to fixing a CD player so I could record my thing. And I was so close. And then I just ended up breaking the whole CD player. You broke it? Yeah. Out of Threw range. it at the ground? No, because I couldn't get this one part out to get to the sensor. And then I just like had to snap it in half, and then that was it. So Holy crap. I get it, but I was really frustrated. I was where you were at, honestly. Yeah. yeah, I just don't get it. I don't get how electricity works either, how they're like, well, it probably is some, uh, some cord is, is unplugged. What do you mean? Is every cord in the house connected in a way that if one thing gets unplugged, the house shuts down? But then, except for this room. Except for this That's room. That's the weird part. And we're lucky. I th- yeah. We're very lucky. I think the gods wanted us to, record, to record this. One right? god. One god. The pod yes. god. Yes. Pod god. Pod god. <laughs> Rogan. Yeah. Rogan himself. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Very cool. Well, well, I'm really happy about this, and I'm actually getting in a better mood. I'm sorry that I drained you. Yeah. Buddy, it was an experience. I was honestly... Um, 
Yeah, honestly, when we're in the other location, I was feeling really good. Me too. I think we were all feeling really good. I, I was think, like, I think I'm going to be very entertained. Yeah. But now I feel like I haven't said an entertained <laughs> thing. Yeah, I me know. Neither. Me neither. <laughs> There's no joke. I said the Minecraft joke. Other than that, we've just been a straight up dud. It's yeah. the worst when you're in the zone too, and you're like, let's let's roll. Like with I stand know. up too. Oh yeah. I know. You know what? I was coming here, and I was like. You know, this is one of the few like uh, podcast experiences where I'm gay there, and I'm like, I'm in a pretty good mood right now. Like, I think I'm gonna be good on this. <laughs> and I think it, maybe it's me. I kind of was a wet blanket. No, no, no uh, a little no, bit. No, Something. No. I think just, it was the power outage oh. for all of us. It was hard for all of us. Yeah, yeah. We've talked about that where it's like before you go on stage, you're in a great mood, and mm -hmm. that's like I'm so fragile, my yeah. like emotions, where I can't like I don't even want like, want to speak to anyone yeah. if I'm in a good mood. Cause I'm worried I'm going to lose it and then I'll uh, bomb on stage. I need to be in a good mood to have a good set. Same. And I keep on seeing these. What's that? Who made it? What's that guy? Who made it? You made it weird. Pete Holmes. Pete Holmes. Yeah. I always see his advertisement on Instagram being like, I need to be in the greatest mood before I go on stage. And then he's like advertising a elixir. Oh, like yeah. mushroom. Brain mushroom. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to try it? I, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I've tried so many of these freakish things, though. Yeah. I've tried AG1. It didn't work for me. I did, too. It just made me feel yeah. very sick. I'm on AG1 right now. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I um Sometimes I don't have to be a good, in a good mood to have a good set. Really? One time I had a good set. Uh, I remember I was uh, dating a girl. We broke up. And uh, we broke up at a... We were talking at a Starbucks, like kind of a post... Kind of a closure conversation. Mm -hmm. And I remember driving to a show after, <laughs> crying while wow. I was driving, listening to sad music. And then uh, I showed up at the gig and I was like, okay, hello. Uh, okay, when am I on? And this guy who, his name is Andrew Crone. He's really nice, but like never, li never is like overly like a nice guy. You know, he's just kind of like a very nice, he's like a good dude. Yeah. 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 He saw me and he went, Oh my God, are you okay? And I thought I like hit it well enough. And I was like, yeah, no, I'm fine. Yeah. Then after <laughs> had one of the best sets uh, wow. up until that point. And let me wow. guess, you dropped the script. You talked about the breakup. Yeah. You said, yep. fuck this. I was holding my set list. Oh. Girlfriend, love being in a relationship. I yeah. crumpled it up. Tossed it. This is fucking bullshit. Yeah. So here's yeah. how my day went. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just say don't um don't finger. Uh, what well, are you talking <laughs> about? Well, I'm just trying to get it going, right? Trying David. to get a riff going. Eh? Get yes. it going. Get it going. Yeah. Should we just start this over? Like, <laughs> well, don't worry, <laughs> buddy. We're gonna cut out quite a bit of this. Oh, okay. I'm editing. Yes. Yes. I'm Geppetto. I'm <laughs> Geppetto this week. And I'm ah, it's like a freaking you know wig props. Um, cool. Oh, oh you could do your character. Let's do characters. Okay, All right, that'll, sure. that'll do something. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Hi, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. How it going? <laughs> oh, it go well. Uh, oh, goody, 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 goody. And uh. Ooh. How's it going, buddy? It's good. Hi. We've never met before, have we? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we haven't. And I'm wondering, uh, my name is Kyle. This is my friend Ben. Ben, yeah. I'm just, I'm a guest here. And, Ooh, very yeah. nice. And uh, what's your name? My name is Darcy McLow. <laughs> Darcy oh. McLow. Yes. So what's, what's McLow? Where is that? Where, where, McLow, what part of the world a, um, is that it is, from? It is a uh, southern uh, hemisphere uh, <laughs> region of my background. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Cool. Yes. And so, and you, uh, what brings you around here? Well, I just I've been uh, working on on the railroads and uh, <laughs> oh, all wow. the do that day, and uh, I I don't you know I just like watching trains. <laughs> wow. You, I watch them, eh? Yeah, watch them. I, I spray paint them. You ever spray paint a train? Uh, no. You ever run a train? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. What do you mean? Okay. I look at you. <laughs> ever run a train? Look at you. <laughs> Is that your catchphrase? I just look at you right away. <laughs> Darcy McGlow, is that I'm, your catchphrase? Yeah, I look at you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your catchphrase. Oh, I smell bacon. I look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Darcy McGlow, everybody. And that's two bacon. minutes. And that's wow, time. That's two minutes. I have so many more questions, but I look at you. I think that's <laughs> <laughs> that a good... 
Guess right. Yeah. I look at you. That's not a laugh. Wow, yeah, right. I love Darcy McGlow. Yeah, it was good. Did you want to do it? Yeah, I'd love to do it. Do you want do wig? Do you want hat? Do you want this weird thing? Yeah, no, I was, Okay, hold on one sec. Hey! <laughs> What's going on, man? <laughs> oh! Hello? Are you a silent film star? Oh, oh. silent film star! <laughs> Hello! Oh, wow! Oh, two words. <laughs> oh, charades guy. Two yeah, words or two, peace? Or peace. Austin Powers. Very. <laughs> so obviously, and I don't know your name, but it's an audio format mostly. So it's <laughs> a lot of the listeners don't even look at the YouTube, so they don't know what you look like. Oh, he's <laughs> oh he laughs. He's giggly. And he's happy? <laughs> oh, he is. He's happy, which is good. Oh, sweet. What do Very you do for cool. a living? <laughs> Oh, Snippy. <laughs> oh, my God. 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 My God. Is that, that's two minutes. I guess he speaks his own language now. Wow. Now, yeah. Ooh, oh. Wow. The character's over. Who's yeah, he? Yeah, character's over. Well, you know what? Did you find him? <laughs> Did you find yeah, I found the him at the end there? You yes. found him well, at the end. Yeah, but I was I was thinking about we went uh we went to, we saw the Blue Jays last night. Mm. Saw the name uh, <laughs> yeah. Briar, Glenn Briar, and that's just the the character that came out. <laughs> Glenn that is either Briar. Glenn Briar. I think that is Glenn Briar. Glenn Briar. Oh, very what? nice. One name. I like that. Glenn like Briar. And he speaks his own language. I think yeah. I picture him being like a Star Wars character. Yeah. I, don't, I, I love it. You got hyper. You got angry, kind of. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. That was great. That's Well, I mean, that's improv. It's character work. Yeah. Okay. Imagine... Th- <laughs> imagine I get like I get hired on Who's Line and that's <laughs> like your first just day gibberish guy. Yeah, first day. <laughs> Don't talk. It doesn't air. My episode doesn't air. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. okay, okay. We're ready for character number three. <laughs> this is I can't. This is crazy. <laughs> This is just for us to get to. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, it's horrible. We had, a horrible <laughs> we had a horrible character. time. <laughs> yeah, we each do a character, but it's like kind of a long process yeah. to get the character going. This is fun. Uh, this is literally school. This is actively <laughs> bad <laughs> podcasting. We're trying so hard <laughs> <laughs> to get the ball rolling. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> it's it's a, I feel like <laughs> I'm, I'm depressed. I'm so sad, but no, I'll do my character. <laughs> sad guy. Sad guy in a wig. Sad guy wearing wig, but hat on. Okay, okay. Oh Oh, hi. Look who it is. Look who came. To hey, hey. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Oh, who are you? Uh, I'm full. Oh, oh, you're full? Yeah, I'm full. Oh, uh, I had some food, right? So I went to NW, but I did a bang bang, right? So I went to NW, but then I go to McDonald's. Bang bang. Yeah. Wow. Triple bag. I went to also Wendy's. Wow. Oh, the trifecta. Yeah, what? Oh, the trifecta. <laughs> oh, is that a new place to go to? Get burger there? <laughs> you like burgers, eh? Yeah. Now, now where, who, are, who are some of your favorite food YouTubers? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really watch YouTube. What do you do for fun? <laughs> oh. Besides eat burgers. <laughs> I would like to, you know, eat wraps. <laughs> Oh, raps. <laughs> you like raps? Yeah. Shawarma? Uh, what? Shawarma? Uh, uh, no, scary. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Do you ever have a cheat day? Oh, yeah. And what do you eat on your cheat day? Pretty. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm horny. Oh, pussy. Oh, yeah, I yeah part of it. I thought you said poutine as well. <laughs> what? You said pussy with a T. Oh. Yeah, pussy. Pussy. Yeah, pussy. Oh, good. That's. Uh, do you have a wife? Yeah. Do you have a wife? Nah. Girlfriend or yeah. anyone, anyone? Okay. What's her name? Putsy. Putsy. Wow. She sounds like a sweetheart. Yeah, she okay. Yeah, how'd you guys meet? Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> You're losing the voice. Well, oh, well, how what'd did I meet? meet her? Yeah. <laughs> wait, <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, uh, oh, I ate her. What? <laughs> Where did you that meet? crazy your, through headphones. <laughs> did you meet your girlfriend, Putsy? Oh, I was going to. <laughs> um, I was. <laughs> I was um, I was going to the library. Oh, oh my god! All right, so that's three good characters. Wow. That we had. Oh my! The god. Road We're kind of rolling. I think now. that'd be a road trip movie. No, I was thinking for your character there. <laughs> yeah, sure. That'd be a good like you could do a good YouTube pr- prank where you go to like. A poutine restaurant or something like that, and you're like, "Can I eat your?" And you like, it sounds like yeah. you're saying that, yeah. and then you're like, "I said poutine. What did you think I said? <laughs> what did you think <laughs> I said? Yeah. Very Honestly, cool. What did you think I said? I love that. That's oh. very true. Yeah. Eat your poutine. That's cool. I what? love that. That like, there's like a bunch of YouTube pranks like in the 2010, b- being like, Can I "Have a kiss. Do you oh, want a yeah. kiss? Yep. Yeah, be a Hershey's kiss. And- no, what did you think I said?" <laughs> What do you think I meant? Also, uh, those ones where a guy's walking, he goes, whoa, nice melons. And then a woman's like, what the fuck? And then there's a guy holding melons behind her. Yeah. yeah. Really yeah. good. What? What? Yeah. I love it. Play dumb. Yeah, and then yeah. they laugh. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> we should do pranks. I'd love to do yeah, pranks. Yeah. We got to bring it back. You should prank call someone right now. Do you think? Just yeah. Try why not? Call. Dumb characters. Oh, yeah. true. Maybe we could do it as our character. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for calling Rec Room Roundhouse. You've reached out. How can I assist you? So my son was having diarrhea, and we were trying to find a bathroom. Mm-hmm. And it was just, there was nothing. There was nothing, and then his finger got caught in the whack-a-mole, and it was just, it, and no one even gave two shits. And it was, it was just, I don't know, it was a little disheartening, because I love Rec Room. I met, that's where I met my, uh, my husband. So I'm just so sorry. I'm just writing some notes down. Oh, you're writing this down. Good, good. You found out my son has um, celiac, so gave him the chicken tenders. Chutnov, famous last words. Um, mm-hmm. He then had upset tummy, diarrhea, could not find a bathroom to save my life. Yeah, so thank you for bringing it to our attention. I'll definitely have to follow up with the staff that we're working that day mm-hmm. um, and uh, and definitely uh, speak with them as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and then on that note, I will also pass it along to the GM uh, so that they can uh, follow up with you too. Hey, don't touch the element. Uh, so- Sorry, he's <laughs> my son's playing with the stove. <laughs> no don't, problem. I'm don't- just going to confirm the phone number. Yeah. Um, when- if you put that so fork that in the to- toaster, if you put that fork in the toaster... I swear to God. Yeah, sorry. So the number is 647. Sorry, that was uh, 647-668-8333. Yeah. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay. <laughs> I hated that. I hated that. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I hate that. I couldn't listen. You couldn't listen? Oh, oh shit. Oh, no, this happened to me once before I had to go to the hospital. Is it in your ear? No, yeah. it's not. No, it's not. I got it. Oh, my that God. Did ha- that did happen to me once. Yes, I remember. I had to go to the hospital to get removed. Dude. Oh, shit. You couldn't listen. Oh, my God. The pranks are too much. I, I, heard, I heard some of it. <laughs> oh, I heard some of it. That was crazy. <laughs> what, you didn't like that? Oh, my God. <laughs> you were trying to hang up? Oh, I wanted to at least hide it. You, it was too much. <laughs> Oh, that it gives me a rush that I've never felt. <laughs> Did you give your phone number? No, I ch- it wasn't the real number. Think, uh, do you think we could play any of the music that you have? Sure, if you all play something, sure. <laughs> uh, well, speaking of getting st- scared, you have a very good song about getting scared. Oh yeah. Do you want to maybe uh, preamble how you wrote it or anything like that? Sure. Well, I mean, oh my gosh, this one's called "God, I Don't Want to Be Scared." Yeah. I was thinking about calling it God I don't want to be scared no more, but that'd be a bit 
you know when songs are a bit, the title's a bit too long? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't want it to be that long. So yeah. lots of fit on it, lots of fit on yeah. artwork, and yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, if you want, yeah, let's give it a whirl. So we listen to the whole thing. Eh? God, I don't wanna be scared, no. Yeah, I don't know. It's been fun, but I'm done being scared, yeah. no more. Harmonize. I only wanna use it. Yeah, I don't know. Second time. Yeah. yeah, you know, I don't know. Did you do anything different? Would I do anything different in the recording of this? Yeah. I don't know. Add a backing? No, no. I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm okay with everything I did on it. I just, uh, I don't know. I feel like if I had, to, if I did it on different, use different equipment, maybe it sounded a little bit better, but I don't, I don't hate it. It's amazing. I don't right. hate it. I just kind of feel like a bit, like, it's kind of really embarrassing, like, writing, like, like, songs about being, songs about being scared. It's really embarrassing. Thank you. Really, guys. really pretty. Well, thank yeah. you. Thank pretty. you. Yeah, just you. I think I think I used one of these mics in a couple of the songs, but then used it. And I one of these mics that Sam uh, let me borrow, I used in a couple of the songs, there but I go. didn't like the sound of, of it on some of the songs. So I had a worse mic that I liked. I don't know what it. You like the grit. We'll listen back. We'll decide if we release this episode. We'll decide. If Are we you release kidding? This, this kid- episode's amazing. It starts off with a call with my father, where my father <laughs> yeah. consoles me about uh, the whole house being in no power. Yeah. Followed by three yeah. of the worst characters <laughs> ever thought, to be in podcast. I thought format. those were great. It yeah. was really good. And then uh, a f- I look at you. <laughs> Yeah. And then we prank call Rec Room, followed yeah. by listen to some of Ben's <laughs> yes. yeah, we listen to three songs. And now we get into our bands. And now we get into our bands. This is kind of a perfect little thing we're doing. Before that, David, how are you, buddy? David. It's still good. Still good. I think it's a great episode. Great. Th- thanks. You. Is anything new with you? You want to talk about anything? You know? uh, buddy, I'm fucking these... Uh, I don't know. Some dickhead at a show. Okay. Just like trying to critique me, and I was. I'm, I'm oh. Still kind of, 
pissed, pissed off of it. Was it an really? audience member or a comic? No, it was a guy who has a bit of power in the scene. Whoa. You know, was it recent? I was like, uh, yeah, maybe a week or two ago. You don't have to say names, but what did they say to you, if you don't mind me asking? I ended my set. It was a good set. I just ended my set being like, uh, oh, I got the light. I got to go. I I don't want to get banned. And I get off stage, and the guy follows me off stage, and he's like, uh, yeah, don't say that shit. Uh. Why do you have to tell the audience that? Don't say that stuff. No, I... Turned around, I, w- I was like, I told actually Sam this. Yeah, you like, did. And I was like, I'll, I told him I'll do comedy how I want to do comedy. <laughs> and uh, now I'm probably uh, not ever getting into that. Did venue. you just leave after that? Pretty much. Did the guy say, oh, okay. Or was he like, what'd you say? He just, he just nodded his head and he was like, and he went back. Wow. And, then I, and then I went back in the room and said bye to friends and comics that were on the show. And then I, and then I left. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Dude, it is so shit like burning bridges for yourself trying to, I don't know. Well, I don't think you... uh, Yeah, it's good. No, in the long run, it's good. To burn bridges, yeah. Also, that guy didn't need to say anything like that. He didn't say anything. I think it was he just wanted to say something to say something. Reminds me of like uh, like in wrestling, sometimes people are like, don't expose the business. (laughs) Don't expose the business, you know? Yeah. I know. Some people have this whole thing where it's like, it's a show. I don't, no, I know. I don't, I don't buy that. I, I agree. No, with I know. I'm not saying. I, say I that's, just that say that's what I. Yeah. That's why. Nah, I don't want like, to. And like you had a good set. Yeah. Come also, on. it's probably because you had a good set. He wants to cut you down. Cut you a down. Bit. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Bring set. you down a notch. Yeah. yeah. Oh, buddy. Before the the show started, me and uh, a boss, another comic, whatever, we were chilling on the side, and he comes up to us, and he's like, "Okay, guys, the host is here. Go say hi to the host." Oh like, wow! What the hell? It's crazy hurting guys. Guys, Post. Uh, let's go. Yeah. Etiquette. Yeah, he Stand literally said etiquette. that word. Yeah. yeah. Come on, manners. Man- Interesting. Manners. That's I'll crazy. say hi when I say hi. Yeah. What the hell yeah. are you talking about? Oh, that that would annoy me. Anyways. And but I'm, I'm a pussy. Getting, now I have no shows this month, and it's fucking awesome. Guys, so I'm thinking that uh, karma is bitting me in the ass for... Well, oh, karma for standing up for yourself? Yeah, buddy, you do yeah. not spoke worry. your mind. You yeah. spoke your mind. I would never do that in a million years. Here would I. am yes. a coward. Well, I'm a je- I have the spine of a jellyfish. Yeah, yeah. I would go, I'll go, okay, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. You guys are two of the most booked white guys in the scene, so... No, no. Buddy. No, no, no. Baby. No, no, no. Well, let's get into our band. I would, yes, yeah, I, w- I would have been like, sorry, I'm so stupid. <laughs> yeah. I would have said that. Yeah. yeah. Not not that I think I but that's exactly I would have sec- it was I, I would crumble. Have, I crumble. I crumble and then I always listen to the like I don't listen to the person, but I'll in my head be like, oh maybe I shouldn't have done yeah. that. Oh I, I will I yeah. I uh, that type of thing. That type like, of thing that type of thing, that's that's replaying for the rest of my life in my <laughs> head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I try to I wanna get better at this but like i saw i was watching this thing on jay-z and like the making of reasonable doubt it was his first album and they shopped it around and no one wanted it and everyone said it was like shit and it like wasn't didn't fit the sound and like and he was all he was already like 26 or 27 so they're like you're already like a little too old and all this shit and he just said fuck you and he and then he just started his own label and then put it out. Wow. And then it became a classic album. But I was I was saying to someone, I was like, that would have just I would have been like, Oh, I guess I'm shit then. Like that's yeah. how I know I I don't have this like drive that these guys have. Cause oh. I would have been like, Oh, I guess I'm one of the worst artists ever. I know. Because no one and likes sometimes me. I think like to succeed <laughs> in the arts, like, do you have to have like just not like belief? <laughs> I think you have can you to, not crumble. I think you have to seriously. Are you not allowed believe. to crumble? You, to, you have to really, really, really believe in. I think Jay Z was yeah. like, "I am really good, and you guys are fucking dumb." Yeah, almost a level of delusion. Yeah, yeah, Dang. totally. Yeah, and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta be more delusional. I think that's what I gotta do. But Sometimes totally. I'm delusional. I'm, de- I'm a mix of delusional, but I'm mostly like, oh, oh, I know, cringe at myself. Yeah, I just hate that. Unfortunately, it, I hate that it would work on me though. People being like, yeah, 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 you should give up. I yeah, would, I would it's like, not working. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, okay. I'd probably take a couple months mm. off. All right. After that, <laughs> I I'd wanna, take a couple weeks off. I want to get that Jay Z mentality. Go, I know. Fuck you. Maybe it's all about working yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's all, <laughs> I know that. maybe, maybe it's well, about working out. He's also had a very different life than us. I think he was selling crack cocaine and Marcy projects, maybe one of the most dangerous places to live. Yeah. And I grew up in Barrie with my mom. And I'm just like, oh, dude, that hurt my feelings. Totally. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Everyone dies. And let's, and let's not forget. He, <laughs> let's not forget. 
and everything he had up on us, he didn't deal with social media. He didn't deal with that. Yes. He didn't have to edit his videos and subtitle <laughs> them. Cap cut. I would yeah. love for yeah. a crack dealer to have his own reels. I'm sure he, they do. You could probably just look it up. What's up? You're going to love this shit. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> David, what were you going to say? Um... Nope, agreeing with everything you guys are saying. That was a yeah. nice little combo we had there. On. Oh, it's nice. Almost motivational. Confidence. Music. Yeah. Music. Yes. All right, let's get into our bands yeah. here. You go first, Ben. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, Kyle, he invited me on this podcast. I thought he wanted me to defend my own songs, which I'm glad I didn't have to do. No, yeah. I wouldn't want but to do that. But thanks for the prom- promotion. Yeah, I yeah. wish I could have been more insightful. I tried the best I could. I think you did a great job. But I picked... The Beach Boys. Classic. And I picked two songs I really like by them. Not, I mean, I feel like I like some other, their other song. There's other songs I like, you know, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, but these two songs I really do like. Okay. I right. love that. A little dip. Yeah. Would you and consider these B sides something not as popular? Maybe the first one. Okay. The second one might have been a single. The second one might have been a single. Actually, they both might have been singles on their respective albums they came out on, but I will... Yeah. Okay, and would you... The Beach Boys, you know, do you... How do, what do they mean to you? They're huge in I your really life? like them. They were my top played artists last year. Wow. Yeah, I was really into them last year. They're classic. Right. They're so... Well, they're really good. They're really good. You like Brian Wilson. Yeah, I think he's awesome. What do you think of the, their manager? Like their dad, Murray <laughs> yeah. Wilson? And that letter that he sent them. It's pretty crazy. What happened? Uh, his dad had a letter. Do you remember exactly what it was? It was a letter directed towards Brian Wilson. Like after after they, they his like own dad. fired after, him. After they fired him, yeah. I forget exactly. But there is another thing that's very interesting there's a clip. It might be fun to pull up, actually. There's a clip of them recording Help Me Rhonda. <laughs> it's after they fired Murray Wilson. And he comes in the studio drunk and is telling like them what to do. Wow. You got to search it up. Pull it up. Wow, that's awesome. Really? Can you pull it up and play it? Help me, Rhonda. Yeah. Brian, you're coming in shrill. We're missing all of those. Help me, Rhonda. And Mike, we missed it all. Okay? You're doing great. Brian, you got a wonderful tune here. I'm sorry to yell. Al, loosen up a little more. I'll say sexy Rhonda more. Rhonda more soft and sexy. Brian, have the guys loosen up. You got a beautiful tune here. Loosen up. You're so tight, fellas. I can't believe it. So I put you over to Here we go. <laughs> no, no. Listen, syncopate a little. Uh, what are the words? I don't know. Say Since it. you put me down, I've been out doing it in my head. Say, show him, show him how to do it just one step. Let me sing it. Let me hear, sing it. Sing it. Since you put me down. No. Since you put me down. We can hear Dennis, but we Trump? can't hear Sounds Mike. Like we can't hear Mike, and we can hardly hear, hear Al. Okay, now what is that? Me? Can we hear a chord? Just a chord like we used to. Right. When you used to sing clear records, okay? Here we go. Let's go. Oh, and I think like he's really bitter too or like really like weird too because I think he used to produce like their some of their stuff yeah. maybe I'm wrong so he's like yeah, he just like popped in and like was wow. Really, yeah. wow wow yeah that's awkward that is awkward yeah I don't know you can hear it like tense tense in the studio yeah more sexy Ronda. wow <laughs> do it like this Rhonda baby you're so fine yeah and yeah, me and your mother will leave then I love that that's yeah. crazy. My band this week is a uh, band that I hold near and dear to my heart. They are called Four Years Strong. They are a uh, hardcore pop punk band um, from Massachusetts. Um, I really loved their uh, first album. The uh, My phone died, so I don't have any of this It's stuff. fine. It's fine. It's fine. What, uh, their first album, though, uh, it came out when I was in like grade 10. And it, uh, I know everything off that album, and because I listened to it not too long ago, and I, I know every single song, every single lyric, um, and uh, I think it holds up. It's a, you guys might find it I'm cringy. Excited. I remember. I think I've probably played you. Do they still have like Oh, Rise or Die Trying? That's yeah. the uh, that's the album I, I Rise love. or Die Trying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, two thousand seven. The only, uh, and then they. Uh, they put out some albums after that, Enemy of the World in 2010, which is pretty good. And then I just fell off. I didn't really listen to any of their stuff. But, um, yeah, there's two singers. 
it's very positive, happy pop punk, uh, but it's like like breakdowns and there's like double kick and nope. kind of like a day to remember a little bit, you know. The only reason I chuckled a little bit when you brought them up was because I was picturing one of <laughs> their dads coming to the <laughs> studio. <laughs> yeah. For a hardcore He's like, pop more, punk band. More, more gang vocals? <laughs> yeah. No, no, like Tommy. We, like we used to do. Yeah. Like we used to do. More yeah. shrill. More, more shrill. shrill. <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> Me and your mom. <laughs> we'll leave. And the double, make it more sexy, the gang vocals. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're, they're one of my favorites and I like to like to go back and listen to them and I've been wanting to bring them on for a while and, uh, yeah, hope you, hope you enjoy it. I know Thank you'll you. hate it 100%. Oh, well, I'm excited to listen. Maybe I'm hey, in a good mood. Don't matter to me. It's the, or don't matter to you. It's a uh, desire junior. Exactly. So, um, no, I'm, maybe I'm in the mood to listen to it. Maybe it's going to change my life. Okay. Every single time I come to the podcast, I think my life may change with your genre of music. Because it's the funny, it's, it's, it's aggressive music, but it's positive. Yes. Yeah. So there you go. And uh, speaking of positive, I am positive that uh, Decider Jr. is going to love my band. I chose a couple of motherfuckers that when you listen to them, you feel like a fucking badass. Yep. You feel like you're going to ride your horse all the way through the town, yeah. pick up the hottest chick in the village, put her on the village. back of the horse <laughs> in the village, go to the woods, and freaking ga- <laughs> gangbanger. Wow. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, no. Talk, just so tired. Yeah. Uh, and I'm talking about big and rich. These big are two motherfuckers rich. that if you live in Alberta, you listen to their music, you're going to start drinking beer and you're going to start partying. Wow. Are they, they are Canadian amazing. or no? I do not think don't they are think Canadian so. at all. They're country music stars, though. And cool. they're, they're American country music duo composed of Big Kenny and John Rich. Wow. Both of whom are songwriters, vocalists, and guitarists. One of them I remember kind of went off not too long ago. Like a was it vaccines or sure something? One of them was really uh, doubled down on something. Really, yeah. Nothing here for that. I lost respect for big and rich. Oh damn it! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But no worries here. In 2007, Reservoir Media Management acquired the publishing rights to Riches and Kenny's song catalogs. Not much else we need to know about Big and Rich, really. Okay. <laughs> but, they, but they have the... So who's their sidekick that you brought? Oh, Cowboy Troy. Cowboy Troy. <laughs> he raps on some of their songs. Yes. Right? Cool. He's yes. like part of the family, right? Yes. How old are these guys? Oh, I just like to know. Well, the years active were 1998 to 2008, and then 2011 to present. So I think when they probably... Nowadays, I think they're probably in their 50s, cool. maybe 40s. But uh, their first studio album, Horse of a Different Color, was released in 2004. This album produced four straight top 40 country hits, including the number 11, Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. Oh. We love we love them. Huge Great song. song. Huge, Huge song. song, and luckily, brought, brought it on. Yeah. And we will listen to it. But before that, how about, Ben, you go first with your first song. And b- before that, Decider. David Fogid. Decider, have you heard of the Beach Boys? Yep. Have you heard of Ford S- Straight Strong? Four Real. years strong. Four, four strong straight years? Uh, four strong no. straights. Uh, nope. And Big and Rich, nope. You haven't heard Big oh, and Rich? No. How fam- Maybe the song. Ain't how, familiar, how familiar are you with uh, Beach Boys? Uh, not super. Not on Ben's level, really? for sure. Yeah, but sure. I know of their stuff. Sure. I, actually, funny enough, uh, the major inspiration of Car Seat Headrest, my favorite band, is Beach Boys. No Crazy. Way. So that's the okay. only reason I listen to a bit of their stuff. Would okay. you ever want to listen to uh, music that makes you want to have sex with nothing but a cowboy hat on? Yeah. Well, that's big okay. and rich, buddy. All I'm right. not having any sex, though, so whatever. And do you oh. want to listen to music that makes you scream at your girlfriend in a car outside of a house party, even though you're 25 and the party's full of 18-year-olds? Did you do that? That's big and rich. <laughs> no, that's, no. no, that's your that's man. That's not four years strong. That's four years no, strong. No. Four years strong is you're with your girl, and uh, she falls down in the in the mosh pit, and then everyone stops, and they help her up. No. Four- and everyone goes, yeah. yeah. No, no. It's all positive, buddy. It's all positive. This is what I think four years strong is. You're the older brother of a, uh, and your younger brother is way cooler than you, and he's having a big house party, and he's 17, and there's so many kids that go. But even though you're 20, you still live with your parents, and you're at the party because you live there, and you're talking too closely to the girls' faces. That's four years strong. That's to be what I assume four years strong okay. is going to be. Okay, interesting. And, interesting. And by the end of it, you're wasted, and uh, kind of you've been rejected, and you go around getting all the cans. 
<laughs> and then you go, you guys can only be here for about 30 more minutes and mom and dad are coming home. And then everyone goes, you're 20. I think that's, yeah, maybe they're they're fans. Yeah. 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 And Beach Boys? And yeah. Beach Boys? I have, a, I have a clear vibe of what Beach Boys is. Oh, yeah, uh, well, tell us. You're a psychopathic serial killer, but you're a furry during the day. Sure. 100%. <laughs> sure. I think that'd yep, be 100%. I absolutely agree. That checks out for me. Yep. Big and rich for, for me, it's uh, you have a big truck and you've never not drunk drove it. Yes. You have one truck you just drink and drive in, and you have your work truck. Wow. You never not drunk drove it. I, like I that never life. not drunk drove it in my whole damn life. Never not. All right, let's get into this. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm excited. What's your first song you're going to do, my guy? Well, you know what? I'm going to start off with, uh, I just want to play some songs. Maybe we don't listen to as much, but I really was listening to this song a lot last year. It's called Vegetables. It's yes. off of Smiley Smile. And it's named after the things you don't eat? I haven't ate a single vegetable today. <laughs> what so. the hell? Me no, neither. I should have. Well, we had uh, curry chicken today. Yeah. Should I play it? Yeah, sure. I hope you like it. I'm going to be around my vegetables. I'm going to chow down my vegetables. I so this is when he lost his mind. Love you, my right, right, right. Hey, uh, My favorite oh. vegetable. I like it. If you brought a big brown bag of them home, wow. I'd jump up and down and hope you oh. toss me a carrot. Oh. I'm gonna keep well my vegetables card off and sell my vegetables. I love you most of all. My favorite vegetable. Yeah. vegetable. No, I, I actually think it's great. It's great. Yeah, I yeah. think it's a good song. Why, I think why do you think it's great? I don't know. I really like how, I like the build. Simple. I like how it sounds. We're, we're coming off of pet sounds yeah. where everything mm -hmm. was big. They yeah. they bring it down a bit. Really yeah. bring it down. Just a bass. And just a the bass. They have a jug that they're yeah. blowing into, but that yeah. gets a little crazy at the head. They got the organ out. Experimental. And, yeah, I like Fun it. Fun lyrics, too. And yeah. I, you know, I and you know what the thing is. I used to not like this song. I used to think it was a gimmick. I used to think it was crap. But then I started listening to it enough. I was like, I really like this song. I like that lyric. I love you most of all. My favorite like vegetables. My favorite. And you know what? Vegetables. Kind of seems like they're like, they're like. I feel like maybe that's like a cardinal sin. Don't sing about vegetables. Don't yeah. make a whole song about vegetables that they did it, and I like it. The classic rock and roll rules. <laughs> yeah. Don't talk about meat. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure the mic stands behind you and uh, don't talk about I kind of think that Bigger Rich would roll their eyes at that song. Yes. Oh, they'd fucking kick uh, Beach Boy's ass. Yeah. Yeah. They would fart on Brian Wilson's <laughs> you, you pillow. Know, you know who they like? They'd like Murray. They'd be like, this guy's cool. <laughs> yeah. Murray can kick it. Murray can drink. He likes bourbon. He likes bourbon. I like a bourbon man. Yeah, Kentucky. Yeah. What about you? What about me? You, you go. You you go now. I'm gonna do abandon ship or abandon all hope is the name of this song. All right. This is probably my favorite song off this album, and it's um, yeah. I don't know. It's great. And then I'm gonna have you jump to about two fifty, but play it from the beginning. Okay. Here. I like the, the album cover. Yeah, random. Yeah, there's a lot of random stuff going on here that time. Is this is like the album art works, like something you can type in. Like, uh, AI. Yeah, it's like free AI. Don't make a sound. It's time to throw it into the lockdown. Don't knock down this mess that I the drums are great. Switch it up. I don't 
mind it. Very uh, busy compared very to vegetables. Busy. So much going on. It's very kind of kind of reminds me of like hyper pop. Uh, yeah. There's just so much happening, um, and the drums sound like uh, like like uh, electric almost. Like yeah. Um, but yeah, I love it. You got you got everything I like in a in a pop punk song. Yeah, I like that. You know what? I'm surprised I never got into that back when I was really like pop punk. Yeah. Like, yeah, it this sounds is like, like something I'd really like. Yeah. And I know I liked it. I enjoyed it. And I like the part where they go, Anchor gonna drag me down, Anchor gonna Yeah, 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 yeah. It's great. It's uh it's fun. And it's yeah, you see what I mean? Kind of positive. It's not scary. Positive, yeah. Loud. Yeah. Loud. Loud but happy. Yeah, it is. It's just like kind of a good time. I think they're like sober guys, like mm. straight edge kind of I don't oh, know if they're true, I don't yeah. know if they go by straight edge, but it's definitely like you know it's there. Like they, yeah. you know, there's the whole stigma of punk and like, there's like those positive punk guys. Yeah. They're like, come on, man. We don't, you know, we're family. Mm. That's kind of what they go yeah. for. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Arms around each other. Yeah, exactly. They love that brotherhood. Yeah. 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 Damn. Well, my, my uh, one is, uh, we already mentioned this song. It's really, really good. You're going to love it, uh, David, Mr. Decida. It's called Save a Horse, Brackets, Ride a Cowboy. Now, what wow. does that mean? Well... It means like uh, uh, like oh piggyback? No, I'm t- we're probably raw dog in a field oh, on top weird. of a hay bale wow. next to a big jug of whiskey. I'm sorry. Uh, whatever. Next to a big canteen with three X's on it. Brian Wilson's dad is passed out <laughs> beside you. Yeah, Murray was partying with you all Murray. night. He wouldn't leave. Yeah, <laughs> kept writing letters to Brian. <laughs> so this is called Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy, and strap the hell in. Silly. Oh, silly. Python fans. Oh. Hell yeah. You're drunk in your truck? Yeah. It's chunky. This is music made by guys, four guys that love boobs. You know what I mean? The boob guys. Well, I'm walking to the room. Passing out hundred dollar bills wow. and it kills and it thrills oh like the gosh. horns on my Silverado grill. I love the and I buy the bar a double round of crown and everybody's getting down in this town. Ain't never gonna be the same. Oh. Cause I saddle up my horse and I ride into the city. I make a lot of noise cause the girls they are so pretty. Kind of sounds like kids singing in the chorus. Yeah, I heard that. Run too, it back a little. Headphones. Doesn't that sound like little kids? Hmm. Save a horse. Save a horse. Ride a cowboy. I don't think or, it's children. I think it okay. might be women. Okay. Okay. I think it might be a bunch of like young, hot, young women. Well, young. I mean, but old enough. Seventeen. Yeah. 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 Eighteen, maybe a close to eighteen at least. Very cool. Great. Uh, writing duo. I honestly feel yeah. like the whole time they're recording this, they must have like had such adrenaline knowing this. Like, I feel like they could just tell it was going to be a massive hit. They yeah, knew. you could hear it. He yeah. sang her every Willie Nelson song I could think of. And we made love. Yeah, it's very like cool. really good. Yeah, the pen game's pretty great. I will say. I, yeah, and it's smart to like have a song that uh, could also be a bumper sticker. Or yeah, like a t-shirt. Yeah, I would love yeah. to know more about. The creation of the song. About Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy? Yeah, can you tell us a little bit more? Let's get on the Wikipedia page. Hey, songwriters, I'm just curious. You know what? Uh, it's a song written and recorded by American Country Music Big and Rich, released in in, in April, which, so <laughs> same as this podcast, released in April. Wow. <laughs> Very cool. Um, the song rece- received wide exposure when ESPN featured the song in commercials for its coverage of the 2004 World Series of Poker. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> uh, One World Gear controversy. The song was parodied by T-shirt manufacturer, wow. manufacturer One World Gear, who began to offer a series of products featuring snow clones of the Logan of the slogan uh, "Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy." Cowboy was replaced with the name of any one of 177 different nationalities, oh. including American. Save okay. a horse, ride a Canadian. Yep. Oh, uh, fun. The, 
The version of the T-shirt featuring the slogan Save a Horse, Ride a Taiwanese was singled out as racially discriminatory and insulting to Taiwan. Weird. I would love a shirt that says Save a Horse, Ride a Taiwanese. <laughs> but uh, really... Uh, I'd like one that says Save a Horse, Ride a Ontarian. Say, yeah. Oh, Save a Horse, Ride a Trekkie. Yes. Save a horse, ride a Trekkie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, I love that. Save yeah. a holodeck. Yes, yeah. Pride. Yeah. But uh, yeah, very cool. I love that round one. Shall we move on yeah. to round two? Final round. It is, cr- it is 10 o'clock at night. It is 10 o'clock. There is a zero power. This area that we're in is the only lit part of the house, mm-hmm. and we're excited cool. about that. Left my house at uh, 6 o'clock. Yes, but think about all we've done in this episode. Damn, yeah, yeah, if we did it the other atmosphere, I would have been so bad, much more entertaining. It would have been amazing. Same. Same. But it's okay. Honestly, I, also think, no, I got. Yeah. you know what? I'm doing exactly what that booker said to Fogia, by the yeah. way. <laughs> Let them he would have show. hated that. No, I'm just saying he would have hated that, that if I said, "Oh, I would have been yeah. better at a different." Yeah, he would have been like, "Don't say that." All right, so uh, we're gonna do round two. Yes, yeah. we shall. And as we always do, Ben, you go first, brother. Well, I wanted to play this song. I really like this song off the Beach Boys Party album. I'm bringing a cover in, guys. Oh. Wow. And this is daring. This is the 60s, right? Let's think about back in the day. The 60s. Yeah. They release an acoustic album where they have all these people come to their house. They make it sound like a party. And what do they do? One of the songs they cover, well, they cover the biggest band in the world at the time. They cover the Fab Four. Wow. This is a Beatles cover by the Whoa. Beach Boys. And in my opinion... I think the Beach Boys do it better. Holy shit. Okay. Shall we? Let's hear it. I think they did an album called The Party where it was a party. Yeah. Short and sweet. Kind of uh, the pioneers of lo-fi. Yeah, I really think so. They just set up a microphone and then yeah, they have a they have a Mm. number of examples of that. Honestly, party vibes. Yeah, very party vibes. I love that. Yeah, that's great. Well, you brought on a freaking song I love. I like that a lot. And Mm. I hope I like Sam's second round just as much as I like that. Yes, hard to follow. Yes, this is a a song that like uh, it's called "Prepare to Be Digitally Manipulated." (laughs) Um, Me me before I go on Omegle. Yes, or before you go on your (laughs) what's your what's that website you love now? You you order like a thousand hats Timu. for two bucks. Timu. Yeah, yeah. Kids getting paid a penny to make it. <laughs> I'm digitally manipulating them. <laughs> um, I have a memory about this song. I used to work at the high school broadcast thing, so every morning our morning announcements would be broadcast, and I would like do the weather or whatever. Someone would be like an anchor. Anyways, uh, one day I was working the boards, and you were allowed to play whatever song for the sign off. And, you know, people play whatever. I played this song, and I uh, I remember just being like, nice. 
Like a, <laughs> a little tip of the hat to like my friends. Yeah. Wow. And, and I played, yeah. You get high strong. fives as you walk down like, the hall. Dude, I heard that. Like, that was fucking dude, awesome. I played four years strong. That's fucking sick. Dude. Wow. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, yeah. Had to play it. They let me. They let me play it. Yeah, it was good. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. So I'm imagining uh, I'm in class and the announcement's just finished. And it's like, thank you. And we'll see you tomorrow at VTV. And then the credits roll. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah, it's a bit better, yeah. And like every pop punk hardcore band, there's an acoustic version. It's very good. And they're playing in like a sunrise record. Wow. So sick. I like the guitar. Doo, doo, doo. Well, I always thought that was kind of cool. They have synth. Yeah. I remember when I was in a pop punk band, <laughs> really wanted like that type of sound, like for the recordings. Never could get that. What's what sound? Just like uh. No, I don't know. Just like that, like two thousand ten sort right. of like pop punk. Yeah. Just couldn't get. There is a there is a sound like a, a vibe. Yeah. Capture. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's uh I was I was actually just thinking listening to that now. I was like, I wonder if I heard this for the first time if I would be into this because I love it because it's like, you know, nostalgia and all that stuff. Yeah. I I generally still listen to this album. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I kinda like it. Honestly, in terms of pop punk, I think most palatable for me. Yeah. There you go. There you go. And for my second round. I don't really know this song, and it's I just like the name of it. Careful, it's big and rich. You should do your research. I'm a little bit afraid. There might be something. Well, it's called Fake ID, so already a little oh, bit scary. Yikes! Featuring Gretchen Wilson, Ryan Wilson's daughter. Oh, really? No, but uh, imagine who is Gretchen Wilson. I don't know. Okay. Well, someone who uh, similar to Cowboy Troy works with them. Okay. You know, she, in the she's in the universe, the big, big and rich, rich universe. Yeah. So I'm really excited. We're all going to be hearing it for the first time. So let's wow. just freaking let's. I let, can't wait. Strap in. Okay. Okay. Hey, I've been driving all over the town on my cell phone, wearing it out. Tracked you down. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, everybody says you're the man. They know how to construct a song, eh? Yeah. Plan. You got my world in the palm of your hand. You got my world in the palm of your hand. Okay. Well, I know that you got it. Come on and just sell it. Got the cash up in my pocket. You know I got So they're young or underage. So they write as different like characters. Very stuff. cool. Yeah. Interesting. Or, or maybe they're writing when, when they're, they're young. Yeah. Hey, don't even think but they sound old. But again, it's, it's so different the stage. The show. You gotta wait till 21. Hey, to turn it over, let's go. No. It's just sure kind of boring. It looks like yeah. Me. He's talking about like so the transaction. I need to receive. Make sure it looks like me. And don't tell my daddy hey. stole the keys to his caddy. Don't dilly dally. I gotta get the hell out of this alley. Well, that's like a joke song, eh? That song I'm for me is... All their songs are kind of... <laughs> I feel like all their songs have funny lyrics. Yeah, they're very tongue-in-cheek. They're kind of yeah. like country weird Al. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's weird. Frankly, not for me. No, not for That's me. Why? Interesting. Why'd you choose that? Was it just the title? Yeah, it's, it's not a title. I was like, oh, this probably is going to be good. 
I'm sure their fans love that song. Hey, won't you buy me a fake, fake ID? Hey, I guess it's you know that's for the younger uh, demographic, maybe. Or yeah, I guess so. Get, like the the high school kids. Yeah, I love that. Well, the, kind of like a McLovin gr- thing, eh? Super bad. Not bad. I yeah. love that very much. Yeah. Well, two great rounds, some great yeah, music, very and different. like listening to your music at the beginning. Yep. Plus, first ever prank phone call. This is a strange, <laughs> weirdest Twilight episode. Zone episode we've ever yeah, had, yeah, I think, in our life. Power outage. Power outage, but... Oh, by, yeah. It's oh. coming to an end, guys. Yeah. Um, Mr. Decider, have you are the votes in? Yeah, I'm just scoring this last okay. one. Thanks, buddy. Uh, okay. All right, buddy. Lay it on us. Okay, so uh, Beach Boys, Ben, you started with Beach Boys, uh, Vegetables. Uh, I don't know. I imagine uh, this song playing as the government castrates men on an assembly line. Interesting. <laughs> and the mm. men are smiling. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, yeah, I like okay. that. I see this that. Is, um, I pictured a lazy Sunday morning, but okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do you. You do you. Yeah. It's like there was so obviously psychological problems with them under underlying all this. I gave it a four point <laughs> five out of ten. Okay. 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 Uh, Sorry, Ben. Okay. No, I re- no, I I respect the honesty. Honestly, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't get that a lot. That's what he gives you, buddy. Yeah, we yeah. get. It. It's like they fucking they did the harmony shit. And they all sang at the same time, but like whatever. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly. yeah, it was a bop. <laughs> That's how he feels. You know what? Yeah, I kind of felt the same way when I first. You gotta give it a couple of listens. That's all I said. A couple of years. Maybe, maybe the first time I listened to it was probably four or two. So I get yeah. it. Yeah, I get there it. There you go. Four point five. So four point five. That's good. Okay, there not bad. Um, all right, Sam, lay it on me, buddy. Four years strong. Sure. What was the name of your first song? Abandon all ships. Abandon all ships. Okay, it's a long uh, title. Abandon all hope, or, or abandon okay. ship, or abandon all hope. Yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, the harmonies were better than the Beach Boys. Okay. Okay. Auto tune. Um, Auto tune. Let's not forget years. about the time. I think a better band over two thousands, twenty tens. Auto tune was huge. They just knew. How and to the take. pop punkers were using it. never. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're using. It I too. think just smarter musicians. They're using it too. The pop punkers. Oh, they could they could cut and paste. They could cut and paste easily. What so did it true. cost? Cost about fifty thousand dollars for a day at a record studio back then. But it's oh, really the Beach Boys got famous when you can write songs about vegetables and get famous. Well, what did they write? What did they write songs about? Uh, Four years strong. Uh, I don't know, having a crush or something yeah. like that. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty relatable. Yeah. <laughs> All the Beach Boys. I just pick, I picked the wrong song. I I picked. Oh, uh, Ben! No, you picked the song you wanted. You to picked pick. what no you regrets. picked. No regrets. No regrets. Uh, yeah, the harmonies were better than the Beach Boys, but the over- overall song uh, is whatever. The guitar, I don't know why, but it sounded like a like a saxophone. Like it was playing like I don't even yeah. know how to. Okay. Okay. Six out of ten. Sorry about that. Six out of ten. Not bad. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And a weak sh- explanation. Sure, sure. No. No. Not okay. bad at all. All right. Uh, Kyle. Uh, big and rich. Shower me. First. First song was save a horse, ride a cowboy. It took me about a few a few minutes to understand what that meant, yeah. and by God, when I did, what a party! You were dancing. I uh, saw you. Yeah, that was awesome. This is a country. Rock star anthem, but I like how they kept the banjo in there to let the poor people know that they're welcome. There you go. If yes. You, this is a song that if you pull your genitals out while it's playing, okay. all you're doing is kicking the party up a notch. Okay. I think it's phenomenal. Absolutely. Yep. Nine out of ten. Yeah. That's a genital puller. Yeah, they, <laughs> that's what we call big it. Big and rich fans, they yes and uh dicks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. These just start sucking them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> people just they whip them just, out. Yeah. Everyone, yeah. Everyone has, yeah. Yeah. Everyone has oh button on their God. pants, but fly undone. Dick and balls oh out. Oh my! Yeah, big buckle. Ooh, yeah, buckle holds their beer. <laughs> dick underneath. <laughs> and they're like horse whipping each other's dicks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's awesome. They put like uh, stuff in there. Anyway. So yeah, that was nine nine oh ten. <laughs> what about uh, what about uh, the sequel? Uh, save a haystack, plow a cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you sounded like me, baby. I was trying to think of something there. <laughs> I feel like you could do something with that. Something cowgirl, the sequel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can yeah. set you up with that. Next <laughs> round, next round. Stop touching the table. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. <It's> stressing <laughs> me out. All right. <laughs> uh, You're I my should've... best friend, buddy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you in a better mood now? No, man. Oh, okay. Well, if the episode's coming to an end, and then that means reality's back. I know. Yeah. All right. All right. Foji. Uh, <laughs> I should have known better, the Beach Boys. Um, Come it's, on. It sounds like things are happening in the background and they're playing and nobody cares. And as a performer, that's something I relate to. Eight out of ten. 
Nice. Yes. Nice. Did you like the lo-fi kind of yeah. in the moment feel of it? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that a lot. Too. Yeah, I know. It really did sound like a fun, um, I don't know. Like what a house party kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's another party. Every song on the album cast out. I was like, that. Oh, very so, cool. Mm. You kept on saying party. I was trying to find a different word. I didn't want to use party. All Orgy. No, I'm, I'm I'm trying to be, I don't know. Soiree. Original. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Soiree. Soiree. Okay. No, soiree is very chill. Okay. Anyways. A uh, gathering, uh, an outing, uh, a cookout. God, I hate this. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, so, okay, so yeah, the second song from Sam. Uh, prepare. prepare to be yeah. digitally manipulated. Sure. If I was on the high school announcements and I signed off with this song, yep. it would only be to kick off a school shooting. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. I like the word, the phrase kick, kick off. off. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Okay. Uh, are they good musicians? Yes. Yes. Are very they? Much so. Very much so. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Tight. They're a tight band. Yeah. Real tight. Well, you know, they're the sound that Ben wanted. Well, yeah, they were, but let's not forget the power of the computer. Yep, yep, yep. They power took of advantage the of studio time, absolutely. Yeah, I want to be sincere for a second because the Beach Boys actually are great. So these guys are like good in the pop, pop punk. Yeah. yeah. And hardcore. Yeah, they're okay. respected, I think. Uh, yep. Five out of ten. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I honestly couldn't oh. tell. So I just gave it a five out of ten. Seemed oh. very mid. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Final song. <laughs> Final song. Kyle. Fake ID. Yeah, yeah baby. Uh, hearing this song once again, I, I mean, I would, I would have to fake being depressed when this song is on because if I crack even a little, I'm like humping walls and square Sorry? dancing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, baby. This Sorry? song is. Woo. I love so it. So much fun. Okay. Uh, I like this. I think uh, this I, Jr.'s a big and rich fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 8.5 out of 10. Wow. wow. Oh, hell yeah. So I think break, big and rich like fucking cleaned up. They, so I guess yeah, big really, and rich is better than the Beach Boys, <laughs> yeah. which yeah. I agree. Yeah. Um, hell yeah. Wow. I think uh, you did the worst, Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 11. Uh, well, uh, what an amazing episode. Please yes. stream. The love Stream. song. Or hit him up for a tape. Oh, yeah. Hit him up for you. you went through I'll hell make, and back. I'll make more, too. You went through hell and They're back awesome. to get those things made. Yeah. And, Ben, it's always a pleasure to have you. Can't well, wait. it's a pleasure for me to be on here. Um, hopefully, you all guys invite me back on a third time. Yeah, yeah I think of course. Bit, I think I was a bit more quick on my first round, but whatever. No, no, no. Oh, you're great. This is good. This is exactly the energy Fishing we for were. compliments. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're the Kitchener Waterloo guy. Awesome. Well, it was a pleasure having you on here, buddy. Well, thanks so much yes. for having me, guys. Uh, you guys are awesome. Yep. Anything Cider Jr., plug? thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, dude. Great album. Great thank music. Thank you. Yeah. Bye.